Quinny, you've just completed your first training session here at St Andrews in Scotland. How was it for you? Um, yeah, sunny, very sunny up in Scotland. Um, yeah, it's been a it's been a, a long 24 hours. You know, we trained yesterday morning at the RH Academy um, and travelled up last night and up this morning for for some weight session, then breakfast, and then and then a, a football session just completed now. Um, yeah, it's really enjoyable. Um, we got the balls out already. Um, it wasn't a, it wasn't a long summer um, off season, but um, but yeah, it's nice to see the balls, nice to see the lads again, and uh, yeah, we're all buzzing again. How are the lads? What sort of spirits are they in? Yeah, good. You know, football moves fast. Um, you can't dwell on that. What, what's happened? I mean, I've lost. I think that was my fifth playoff final. I've lost now, which you know. Um, it's 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 a sickness really, but um, you've got to get on with it. Time times move, football moves fast, um, um, and for me, just looking at the season ticket sales, you know, by passing four thousand, the uh, the atmosphere we had around the club last year, I I, I just think it's uh, it's something we can just build on. You mentioned the four thousand season ticket mark and that being broken through, smashed through by the Stags faithful in quite some fashion. What encouragement does that give you as a player? Yeah, massive. You know, um, it just kind of uh, takes off from last season, really. You know, the buzz around the place from uh, from that time when we were struggling, just just when we needed the fans to get behind us, uh, it was it was an unreal like uh, run in. To be honest with you, um, you could sense the atmosphere between the players. You know, the staff, the fans. You know that connection. Uh, if you're going to do anything in the game, that that's what you need. They're a massive part of it, and you know I've really loved my time here so far, and you know I was really happy to sign again and continue the progress of the club. Yeah, you signed again last week. Uh, I think uh, some supporters were getting a little bit tetchy that it took so long, but you'd, you'd had a good break, hadn't you, with the family? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I flew away uh, straight after the day after the, the playoff final, so I, I didn't get back to, to England for you know to, till pretty much last week when I signed. Um, so yeah, um, um, I don't think it was ever in doubt. You know, once the manager wanted to keep me, um, and you know, I didn't I didn't want to finish on what we've. Uh, well, well, last season's Wembley defeat. Um, I just thought, you know, with the uh, the structure of this club in place, the players that are here, another year under their belts for, you know, a bit more experience. Maybe we'll add to the to the to the squad again. And and you know, um, you know, I'm I'm really looking forward to this to a strong season this season. I understand, Quinny. You turned down offers from other clubs. So what exactly did make you stay? If you could put your finger on one particular one particular reason. It's just the whole club in general, you know, not the style of play, the manager, the fans. The fans were ecstatic. My family love it here. They love coming to the game. My my sons, um, and yeah, the love of the game really. Um, the lads are the lads are top class. You know, you could you couldn't meet a, a more down to earth, grounded bunch um, who were absolutely devastated, obviously, with last season. But you know, that's an experience for them. You know, I've had some of those experiences, so that thickens the skin. Um, so it was more, more or less everything as a, as a whole. I know there was other clubs knocking, but you know it was never in doubt that I was not going to sign here. It does underline your commitment that you did re-sign for Mansfield Town, and uh, the fact that, like you say, you do enjoy it. Yeah, love it. Um, I just want to kick on. I want to get this club to League One. It's it's something I have a, like a burning desire for. I, I don't know what it is. And, I mean, yeah, I'm getting older, but I just I feel like a kid, and I really want to get this club, you know, up the divisions. Only day one of this short pre-season training camp here in Scotland. How are the legs feeling? Yeah, good. I mean, like I said, we haven't had that much of an off-season. Um, you know, I trained a little bit when um, when I was away. Um, just get something in the legs. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's 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 important to take a rest as well. And um, they're they're long seasons, you know. Yeah, probably be 11 months now till we get another break. So um, yeah, it's kind of it's 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 that fine balance of taking your rest. Um, but yeah, once once we got back, we're we're gonna hit the ground running. Yeah, we're literally running. Um, but the balls are out. Um, everyone's getting a feel for it. Um, and we're working on our shape. And and you know, and and really looking forward. To it. I I think the lads are really switched on this season. You know, there's they. I think they know what we've got to, what what it takes to 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 kind of um, to kind of. Get up in the get up to the top half of this 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 league, um. So, I mean that's where we want to be. That's where we we expect to be. Um, 
Uh, so um, so training is um, is intense already, to be honest. But it's good. I'm enjoying it. What do you think will it take over the course of a 46 league game campaign? Um, mental resilience, um, along with the physical aspect of it as well. I mean, you know, when the when the body's depleted in you know mid January, it's um, it takes that men mental resilience. You know, it does from coming back from the lows and 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 just kind of staying level, never getting too high or too low. I know it's a cliche and everything else, but it's uh, the strongest survive, and it's it's literally that. And I just like I said last season is, is, is an experience we all can take on board. From the, the from the lows we suffered early doors to the to the to the ecstatic highs of making it to, to Wembley and just missing out. So it's all experience. So I mean, it, it, all the lads can take that on board, and and the fans can take it on board as well. And and like we like we said, four thousand over four thousand smash day. I can't wait to reload and go again. That'll certainly uh, give some great heart to the Snakes fans uh, watching Quinny. Uh, just touching on last season, as you mentioned it there, how would you rate yourself on an individual basis? Um, yeah, I mean, it, it was tough when we when we hit the lows of early season. Um, obviously, my sending off didn't help, and I missed a lot of games. But I came back feeling really good, and you know, got the head back in place. Um, and yeah, I mean, we we went on that massive run, which was which was brilliant. And then obviously. I felt a little bit tired towards the end of the season, to be fair. I was carrying a little niggle, which didn't help me. Um, but, um, yeah, physically I feel fine. You know, like I said, inside, I'm, maybe the gaffer might have to manage me a little bit better this season. I, I'm not sure. But um, I'll never not want to play, so I'll, I'll, I'll try and always be available and, and give my all for the club. Now you're in the twilight of your career. Do you appreciate pre-season perhaps more than you did? Oh, I don't. I don't know about that, Steve. Oh, you know, um, it's it's been tough every year, you know. And I know what it takes. I know what I need to get my body fit. And um, but yeah, I mean, when you go away and you, you you know you're with the lads and you're eating away and you're you're just kind of bonding, you know. I'm not sure if, if the lads realise that it, it's it's massive part of um, of the start of a season is getting that bonding again and you know getting into the flow of things um, and spending some time together. So yeah, it's. Um, yeah, it's another experience. I think it's coming up to what 19th, 20th season. So, um, so yeah, I love it. Have a good week. Thank you. Cheers, Stephen. Thank you.